Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and today we are talking about Bionanogenomics BNGO stock, which can double your money. We will start by discussing why BNGO is a good long-term investment and why Wall Street analysts who cover the stock all have a buy rating for it. Then we will talk about two new peer-reviewed articles and publications that have come out to verify that BNGO has unique technology in the genomics and cytogenomics space that can transform transform and revolutionize that industry. And then lastly, we will look over Bionanogenomics revenue and earnings forecasts all the way out into 2023 to determine when BNGO will be a profitable company. Go and press the like button right now for more stock news updates. Comment your price targets and price predictions for BNGO stock down below. Turn on subscription notifications if you are new and now let's make you some free money with Weeble. Weeble is a free brokerage app where you can buy and sell sell stocks, options, and cryptocurrencies. But right now, you can get two free stocks with Weeble. You can get the first free stock, which can be worth anywhere from $2 to $250 for just creating an account. And you can get a second free stock, which can be worth up to $1,600 if you invest $100 or more on your first deposit. You will have a 1 in 100 chance of getting stocks like Facebook, Starbucks, or Snapchat, and you have a 1 in 50 chance chance of getting stocks like Google or Procter & Gamble. To get this offer, just press on the link in my description box down below, but do it quickly because this offer will not last forever. And without further ado, let's get into today's stories. Two months ago, an analyst that we follow named Jason McCarthy cut his BNGO price target from $14 down to $10. However, the analyst still says that BNGO stock is a buy, and I don't blame him because BNGO shares are up around 20% since then. However, to further verify that BNGO stock is a buy, two peer-reviewed publications were published in the American Journal of Human Genetics that outlined BNGO's optical genome mapping system named Sapphire as either better or complementary to traditional methods regarding structural variant analysis, which is great news. Here are some quotes from these two publications that we will look further into later in this video, and I quote, BioNano Sapphire has the potential to become a primary analysis for most molecular cytogenetics applications and provides a complement to existing sequencing-based methods for a more comprehensive view of genome variation. Right now, analysts predict that Bionanogenomics revenue will double, which would mean that the company can make $15.5 million of revenue this year. This revenue estimate is projected to increase again by 73% for 2022, so the revenue increases are amazing, but investors look like they will have to wait until 2025 until BNGO reaches profitability. Because of these great revenue forecasts, I am doubling down and reiterating my buy rating for BNGO stock anywhere below $5 or $6 as a great entry price because according to four analysts, the average 12-month price target is $11.50, which will give you around a 69% upside over the next year. The BNGO stock price is predicted to increase leading up to their next earnings report, which should be around August 9th, give or take a few days. BNGO is forecasted to report negative 5 cents a share, which would represent a year-over-year -year growth of 44.44%, and with revenues of $3.3 million for the quarter, this would represent an increase of almost 180% from the previous quarter. For the full year, Bionanogenomics should have a 19 cent loss per share and revenues of $15.5 million, which we mentioned earlier. So with both of these positive changes, we could see some stock rallying and pre-anticipatory running leading into earnings. Although Wall Street analysts unanimously agree that BNGO stock is a stock worth buying right now, which could also double your money over the next year, Zach's rank on a scale of 1, which is a buy, to 5, which is a sell, rates BNGO stock as a 3, which means to hold the stock. Now, let's briefly look into the two peer-reviewed publications that I mentioned earlier in the video, which were from world-renowned scientists and clinicians from various institutions all over Europe. 
One study analyzed optical genome mapping as a better technology compared to traditional methods when it comes to inherited genetic diseases, while the other study focused on OGM technology when identifying structural variants when it comes to hematological malignancies. A scientist from the first study had to say this about OGM technology, and I quote, OGM can really revolutionize the detection of chromosomal aberrations. I think it could be the most significant technological breakthrough in the history of cytogenetics since the CNV microarray. In the other study, scientists and clinicians alike had to say this, and I quote, I see many opportunities for advanced genome analysis methods to completely transform the way we analyze samples in our laboratories and clinics. Our goals are to provide workflows that that find more variants faster so critically important information is available sooner and more reliably. OGM is one of the methods we believe is very promising. By streamlining the workflows and providing data and reports that can be readily interpreted and used by our teams without requiring specialized training, we believe OGM can become an alternative and maybe even a replacement for traditional cytogenetics and hematological malignancies and genetic diseases. The progress BioNano has made with OGM has been substantial and we are excited about continuing to help guide them forward. There was also another report that was published and it has to do with China but I'm just going to link that one down below and again all the sources are linked in the description so if you want more information feel free to click on those links and read the articles for yourself. This is just a quick synopsis of these five articles. More good news is that Oppenheimer has raised their 2023 earnings estimates for BNGO. An Oppenheimer analyst has estimated that the company will have a 33 cent loss per share in 2023 which is actually an upgrade from a 34 cent loss, but they still have and maintain a buy rating for BNGO stock. Overall, BNGO is still a great buy at current prices if you plan to hold through 2022. Currently, the company has a debt to equity ratio of 0.04. This shows if the company is using debt to operate instead of their own funds. So anything under 1.5 is pretty good. They also have an amazing quick ratio of 51.22 and this tells us the company's ability to meet short-term obligations with liquid assets like their cash on hand and a high quick ratio is good, so anything above one is very good. Lastly, we have great indications from institutional investors who are doubling down on their positions in bionanogenomics. For example, CapTrust Financial Advisors raised their BNGO stock position by over 5,600%. And other institutional money are following suit, with many institutions investing anywhere from $45,000 to $77,000 into bionanogenomics. And this just makes bionanogenomics a better position, especially as institutional money flies into the stock and BNGO can actually use this capital to their advantage. But what do you all think? Comment your thoughts down below. Remember to hit the like button right now, subscribe if you are new, and I will see all of you in the next YT video.